Hi, this is Matt from Save Your Business, and in today's video, I'll show you how to set up hosting for your website. If you don't have a domain yet, you will need to purchase one now. There is a link in the description for a video that shows you how to purchase a domain. If you already have a domain, then click on the link in the description that will take you to the hosting website. If you use the link in the description, you will get access to discounts not usually available to new Venture IP customers. Once you are on the page, scroll down and find the starter pack. This is all you will need to build your first website. This monthly price is only for the first month and then it will go back up to the original price after that. So what I would recommend is scrolling up and click on pay yearly, scroll back down and click on the starter pack and this will give you 50% off for your full first year. This is an Australian company, so these are priced in Australian dollars. You can now click on buy now. Make sure that you click on I already have a domain name and then enter your domain name here. Do not tick this box, transfer my domain name and then click continue. Check to make sure that you have the correct domain name here and then proceed to secure checkout. I already have an account, but you will need to create a new one and then fill in your details. Once you have created your account and paid for your domain hosting, go to the home page, which will display this dashboard if you are logged in. Now click on cPanel hosting. If you purchase your domain correctly, it should be displayed here and then click on manage alongside the domain that you want to set up for. Now scroll down and click on server details. Now we need to input this data into your GoDaddy account or wherever you have bought your domain from. To do so, go into your GoDaddy account and log in. Click on your account over here in the top right and click on my products. Scroll down and find the domain that you wish to set up. Once you've found the correct domain, click on DNS alongside that domain name. Now we want to add a new record. Come down and click on type and select A, and then use the at symbol. Over here, we'll need to input the number over on Ventra IP. So let's go back to that page now. Use this IP address here and copy that number. Go back to GoDaddy and then paste that number here and then click save. If it says record data is invalid, just manually type in the same number as you copy and pasted and it will work and click save. If you have two factor authorization turned on, click on continue and verify and then enter your code and click verify. This is an old domain name, but you may have another type A that says parked and you can delete that one. Now, go back to the Venture IP page that we were on before, scroll back up, click on cPanel hosting, and then click on cPanel this time alongside the domain that we're setting up. It will open this new tab, scroll down to the bottom, and click on WordPress, or you can type WordPress up here. Click on install application. Come to this drop down menu here and select your domain name that you wish to use. I would suggest using one that has the S in it, either with www dot or without. I'm going to select with. Scroll down further. Change your username and password. 
these are the login details that you'll use to get inside your website and make changes. Scroll down to the bottom and click install. Once that is installed, you can click on your website here and this will show you what your website currently looks like. You may have a warning come up because your page is not secure. You can click advanced and then proceed anyway. To log into your website, go to the domain at the top and put forward slash WP dash admin and click enter. Now use the login details that we just created when we installed WordPress. You have now successfully set up your domain and hosting.